Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at my image of M106 in the Tempest in its galactic core. Welcome to SETI Astro. Ten hours of RGB data. Here's the red channel, green channel, and blue channel. In addition to that, I shot 12 hours each of hydrogen data and oxygen data. Combining the RGB channels led to a very nice image of galaxies, including M106, various NGC objects, and even smaller PGC cataloged galaxies. The narrowband data after continuum subtracting led to the hydrogen core with its streamers coming out and the narrow band on the oxygen dotted with some structures in the core and following that streamer up as well. Combining it in a standard HOO palette, you can really start to see the boiling mess that the gases are doing within the core of the galaxy itself. And finally, stretching and color correcting really brings out the oxygen pieces along where they are combined in a more of an orangish hue and the long streamer of hydrogen coming out of the core. Layering that onto the RGB, you can really see the normal continuum galaxy with its broad loops and now the tempest raging at its core of all these various gases and causing streamers to come out of it as well. I did process the stars separately using the 4x script. There were plenty of medium and large stars throughout the star field and not nearly as many very tiny ones as you see closer to the galactic plane. Combining all the data, stars, narrow band, and RGB data leads to this gorgeous image of M106 and its accompanying galaxies, complete with narrow band data even in some of these smaller NGC galaxies and very interesting spiral structures and some other ones here. There's even a pair of interacting galaxies up over here that look like a chevron right now but it's actually two edge-on galaxies interacting. There are two NGC galaxies, NGC 4218 and 4220. They're also greatly enhanced by the hydrogen and oxygen continuum subtracted data. With NGC 4218 you can even see these uh, pockets of gas throughout the main structure of the galaxy. And as you see, 4220 is this beautiful disk shape, fairly edge on. Annotate all the galaxies and quasars within the image. And I really did a, a lot of effort to remove the objects that there were no pixels for. So everything in the image here is actually in my image. And there are some quasars as well. And I've even annotated the redshift and the distance to them. This one here is quite far at 14.3 billion light years away. That's the co-moving radial distance. But the very furthest one is down at the bottom. SDSS J121451 and plus 471748. It doesn't look like you can see anything within the crosshairs right now, but extremely stretching the background, you can see that it does exist in my image, and it is a staggering 21.7 billion light years away. The light itself is a little over 11 billion light years old and it left the when the universe was only 2 billion years old. 
I have also updated Astrobin with the main image and the full annotated version, along with its acquisition details, location in the sky, and write-up and designations for the Quasar, the narrow band continuum subtracted core of M106 compared to its full image, and some close and crops on some of these NGC and PGC objects, as well as a overstretched image so you could see the 21 billion year, light year away quasar. I have also updated my website, SETIastro.com, with the Tempest and the core of M106, including some cro close and crops, write up, linked Astrobin, and the annotated version. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.